it's is this confidence thing. Uh, it feels like maybe the, the jersey is a little bit too heavy for some players. They, when they put them on, they, they don't show the the same quality as they do maybe in their clubs. So we just need to change that. We just need to change that. Does that suggest that you need to look at changing the players, or do you have to change their personality? No, I, I, yeah, like, I, like, I've, like I've said before, uh, confidence comes with knowing your teammate. Confidence comes with knowing that if you do something, your teammate will cover you. If you are in a position, you know exactly what your teammate is doing. And that kind of connection uh, is lacking, is lacking. So what we need to do, basically, the, the solution for that is basically to find the players that we want to play quick and just play them. The solution is not out there. The solution is to find these connections, this understanding between the players, because at this level, the slightest mistake can cost you the game. Uh, but I just want to emphasize that from England to this game, I felt much better. I don't know if you saw the, the same things. I felt much better. I, I saw the organization emerging and it's just working step by step on that. Um, um, yeah, and I, I felt ha ha first half we should have been 1 0 up at least. Goals will always change games. Ours was disallowed. Really a magnificent strike. Was disallowed their first goal and it, it, changed, it changed the game completely. When you look at the two games, do you think there's anything more you could have done since taking the job to get a better level of performance? No, listen, it's, it's only the time you have with the players, whatever we thought prior, etc. It's, it's only the time you have with the players. And I think we used it pretty well in, in a sense, um, in a sense, working, working towards the future. And I hope you saw the, the organisation kind of working until, until yeah, on, longer than the, the first goal. But I think everybody feels now, yes, when we were in structure, when we were in shape, we looked quite, quite good. Uh, but once we conceded, we, we lost confidence, like you say. Uh, we, we, we run and opened us a little bit more. And again, quality at this level will punish for, for opening the, the team. Damien, please. I mean, it's, it's obviously not been the start you would have hoped for in terms of results. How, how difficult a week has this been for you personally? I'm a really sore loser, to be honest. Really, really sore loser. I hate losing. Um, so in that sense, uh, I, I'm not the happiest man. Uh, in Ireland at the moment, uh, and I share that probably with, with a lot of fans to be unhappy now. Uh, my job is to try to turn this around. Nobody told me it was going to be an easy job. Uh, and I know it's going to take time. I know it's going to take time. Um, but I feel the first step is positive, even though losing these two games. I think the first step is positive. Uh, hey, hi, Hamer. Can you talk their confidence will improve when the connection with the players is better established. How long do you think that will take to make those connections to, to improve confidence? We'll see that. I, 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 I said when the players start to play together more often yeah. and in the same structure, with the same philosophy, with the same principles, you know, they start to take decision quicker. You know, like you saw maybe the, the England players all their actions were so quick, pass, move. They all knew what the other, the other was going to do. We look at some points like we're not sure. So this hesitation will cost opponents to use the spaces that open or the misplaced pass and we will be punished. We just need to work on, on doing the same things again and again and improve in that instead of changing players all the time or finding new versions of playing. We just need to be consistent in what we are doing because otherwise you, you, you will never have a progress. And how damaging is it for the players that this, this run of results that they've been on prior to your arrival? I mean, surely that plays a massive role in damaging confidence so much. Yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, it's probably different between individuals, how quick they recover from losses. Um, but somebody's told me uh, 11 from 14, you've lost 11 from the last 14 or something. I don't know the statistics, but you can check that.
that that is something that is not going to be changed overnight. So so we we just you know it's is what it is. We have two games in less than a month or in about a month. So we just need to look forward and and not being too negative. We just need to work. That's that's my job. That's our job here is is to continue working and and looking at what we did good and trying to build on that. I suppose before the before the two games started, you spoke about the players being quite similar. After a week working with the team now and with the squad, are you starting to see certain players who you think are more your type of players than others? Yeah, for sure. When when you start working with them, you 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 learn about their personality, about their character, etc. So that's the thing. When you are working closely, you you might find players that. Uh, this one is, is is more what I like, etc. But I still feel that we have too many players at a similar level, so it's it's quite easy for a lot of players to say I can I can be in this Irish team. We have a lot of yeah, like I've said, sim similar level players, so many of them can stake a claim in this team. And it's just our job now because of the same the same. Our job is to try to find the correct players and just play them, not always be. Not always rotating them, sorry. And then just in terms of after two games, it's sort of looking like a relegation battle with you and Finland. Um, is that something that you can that almost could help build the squad morale to you know, have some little goal to work towards uh, within the group? Yeah, I don't write us off yet. <laughs> Fine, yeah. Um, will it be Timmer, will it be fair to say? Uh, we'll probably be playing back four from now on. No, no. We, we played. We, we we kind of planned this prior to this game to play back four against Greece. It's in the formation as well uh, that that they they play with one striker. So uh, it, it's it would be kind of wrong to play three at the back against against this formation, in my opinion, uh, and also the. The way they play, uh, to play back four against them, but it, it will always look. We, we had three centre backs in our starting lineup, so it was easy to tweak and change if we wanted to. But still, it's the same principles. Although, although given, given what you said about the, the need for familiarity, um, it, you know, do, do you think maybe it does make sense to have a system which we're going to be playing and not be sort of changing from, from game to game? Yeah, it's. it's is in a way correct, but it's also in within the individual. You know, this this player can play one or two positions. So with you know, in game, in game changes, you you can use these players to rotate the system if it favours what we are doing. Sometimes you need more balance at the back. Sometimes you need need more attacking balance. So you need to be able to change uh, within the game. So I wouldn't rule out any formations. But it's just working on the same principles, whether we play two or three, the, the same decision making concepts, the, 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 the same principles in how we move, how we take decisions. So when I go and press, Kieran will come and cover me, etc. So all these connections we need to, we need to build. Thank you.